and how beautifully gold again respecting my levels 1855 1865 precisely traded in the same zone throughout the day likewise us crude also failed to sustain below 78.8 and now back at 80 levels so what to expect with the us cash session for gold and us crude we will see with the help of charts and indicators do not forget to like share subscribe and comment do not forget to press the bell icon which keeps you updated with the next analysis which is going to be released with the us session tomorrow do watch that also with the asia session tomorrow so this is the second update for the day so do watch both the updates daily let's start first we look into gold followed with crude oil wti do watch till the end to listen to it carefully note down the levels trade as per the level if you look at the hourly charts we can clearly see lower highs and lower lows are seen still trying to trade in this channel though there is a breach here at the same time this time it is also trying to come out of the it tried to came come out of the consolidation zone however failed to sustain below 1855 that was a precisely noted zone now again see 1865 levels if you see trading above rather i will say now better and in the morning also i told you 1870 is a comfortable level beyond which you can stay long and if you see it trading above 1865 now yes you can take a buy entry but be cautious of 67 68 and then 80 level 70 levels if it trades above 70 the next target is 75 and then 80 levels it can completely reverse but right now on the early chart it appears to be trading in this bearish channel and hence which you should be cautious of this Direction movement is moderately bearish here. Stochastic trying to look upwards. The MACD is trading with slight bullishness. RSI at comfortable levels, neither bullish nor bearish. And if you look at two hour charts, similar formation drop, consolidation, drop, consolidation. Again, waiting for a breakout either which ways. Only bullish confirmation for that it has to break past 18, uh, 1890 levels and then 1920 levels if these two are taken then it is completely bullish directional movement is bearish here stochastic flat the MACD is trading in green but very little divergence rsi trading flat at bottom or comfortable levels rather on the three hour charts also similar is the object drop consolidation drop consolidation drop consolidation so similarly it is still bearish till the time it is below 1890 also, if you look at the 3 hour chart, similarly lower highs, lower lows here and previously it is giving higher lows but uh, the previous candle has given a breakout. Now it is again trying to trade in the same zone. Once it trades below 1855, certainly we can expect that this time we may see 1850 levels which is definitely a good support and below 1850 it is going to break out. It should be considered for a breakout 1840-1820 levels should be seen there directional movement is bearish stochastic flat looking upwards the MACD is trading with slight bullish bias but still not confirming the bullishness there rsi trading flat and if you look at four hour chart, similar observation on, is on the four hour charts now see previous candle was a red candle this candle again is looking downwards but then you know, if lower lows are achieved once again 1850 to 1850 levels will be seen there so uh, see this zone is strictly right now it is still trying to trying not to give a breakout and it is consolidating still directional movement is bearish stochastic looking up and if you look at the MACD this is in green with trading with very little divergence RSI trading flat now look at the daily chart now see on the daily chart the candle is still red here and see it is open flat below 1863 levels and now trading again bearish so possibly once it trades below 1855 we can expect 18 50 to 50 levels and once it breaks below 1850 then only little more bearishness can be seen and at the same time above 1865 specifically if it breaks past 1875 70 levels then this is going to be completely bullish so what it is trying to do it can give you a replica of this candle possibly if it trades above 1865 now we may see the replica of previous candle it can try to achieve 1872 levels or 1870 levels and then close the uh, date around 1865 and from there possibly a reversal can be seen and hence in between the zone you need to remain cautious and alert directional movement divergent and bearish stochastic oversold trying to come out of the oversold zone MACD bearish trying to converge here RSI trading flat considering this you should sell at 1855 and buy at 1865 however those who want to not to risk be cautious and alert till 1850 and 1870 levels 1872 levels rather 
in between these $22, it can still show you good swings and hence you need to trade with a trailing stop loss. And as and when you see your trade is in profit, you have to be watchful. Also the entry points, let's say 1855 and 1865, you have to watch there for a couple of minutes how it behaves and one 15 minute candle if it closes above the levels, you can definitely enter there. So trade accordingly, trade with a stop loss, trade with a trailing stop loss. Now let's have a look at crude oil. And yes, if you want to learn this art of trading profitably, you should join my mentorship batch. The 20th batch starts in first week of reserve your seats now so that because limited seats are available and equip yourself with the right tools, techniques and strategy which can help you trade profitably. Now look at the early charts of crude oil. Now see it has achieved 80 again and definitely 80, 80.2 levels are a very good resistance because beyond that 80.6 and then 81.5, 82 levels will be seen that is the first part. Next see uh, if you connect this see everything is meant for a purpose and if you see lower highs lower lows are seen here but at the same time look at 79 and 78.8 levels in the morning also I told you these are going to be very good support levels once again it proved out to be a very good support levels look at multiple candles getting the support at 70 so for the day one thing is certain only sell entries below 79 now Till the time it trades above 79, do not trade. Now look at the direction movement. This is bullish. Stochastic rising. It has come back to overbought, overbought zone. The MACD willing to converge crossover for a buy entry. RSI looking up. And if you look at 2R. Now look at 2R charts. The rise retracement. Higher highs. Retracement higher lows. Now again looking upwards. So it is trying to trade in this zone the highs of this channel now situated at around 82 levels possibility exists that if it trades and sustains above 80.5 we may see it hitting 82 levels very very soon directional movement bullish stochastic rising the MACD is bearish trying to converge crossover RSI looking up here and if you look at 3R chart on the 3R charts look at the previous candle the lower lows higher highs and see this candle also has achieved the highs here now see the support there at 79 is very very strong. Now it has to sustain above 80.2 then you can buy and expect 80.5, 81 and 82 levels. Directional movement bullish, stochastic rising, the MACD in red trying to converge crossover and RSI looking up showing some bullishness. If you look at 4 hour charts, on the 4 hour charts likewise getting the support from the stronger levels and see the previous candle has a stronger tail which means that this candle may get a push and this candle may try to achieve 81 levels also possibility exists hence you can buy at 80.2 expect 80.6 81 levels and then 82 levels will be seen very very soon directional movement bullish stochastic rising the MACD is in green trading with very little divergence the RSI looking up and if you look at daily charts on the daily charts 100 period moving average see first of all on the downside 50 and 20 period moving average coming together here at 78.6 and 78 levels this is very very strong support zone in the morning also i told you you have to remain cautious between 80.6 and 78 and once again i am telling you the same today possibly it may try to break out we may see 81 or 82 levels possibility exists and hence beyond 80.2 you can stay long if it trades only and only if it trades above 80.2 levels Directional movement is bullish, stochastic is overbought on the daily charts. The MACD has crossed over, this is trading with divergence, this is looking bullish. RSI is also looking upwards showing strength. Considering this, I will recommend you to buy at 80.2 and sell at 79. In between these $1.2, do not trade and in fact above 80.2 further bullishness might take it for 80.6, 81 and then 82 levels. Which is the, definitely a very very good risk. On the downside, once it trades below 79, you can expect 78.5 and then 78 level. 78 is a very, very good support. Below that, a little more drop might take it till towards 76.5, 75 levels, which is definitely a stronger support. Take your trades accordingly. Trade with a stop loss. Trade with a trailing stop loss. Do not forget to like, share, subscribe and comment. Do not forget to press the bell icon. Join my mentorship batch. Join my signals channel, reach out to me for more details, my telegram and email IDs are mentioned in the channel and video description. Thank you very much, have a great profitable trading day ahead, thank you.